So, what is that microbiological agent which lead to Waterhouse Fredrickson was one more image based question of the examiner. Another very easy question. It is a gram negative renal shaped diplococcus is what you need to remember. It is not, it ferments glucose but not lactose, meningococcus. So that is the reason option C is not right but B is right. It is a gram negative. So typically Neisseria meningitis oxidizes glucose and maltose but not lactose or sucrose is an important differentiator between it and gonococcus. So both of them are brothers belonging to same family of Neisseria. Right? So one question invariably in microbiology will come on streptococci, staphylococci, which is optogen sensitive, no bias sensitive, which is um, catalase positive, catalase negative, then works proscoids reaction positivity, oh, life is miserable. So you have to read all those things. Microbiology means the starting topic should be directly streptococcus. Highest number of questions came only from streptococcus. Without a question on streptococcus, staphylococcus, there is no paper. And classification of the gram positive and gram negative, how to differentiate between them? Four, four characteristic features. Not more than six to eight hours you should spend time on microbiology. If you read more than that, you will definitely get MD microbiology seat. Nice, no? Morning, uh, uh, you can prepare a tiffin box, take out your car, go to the lab. Immediately as you go to the lab, you will have nice coffee. One hour coffee time. After that, you spend half an hour talking to students. How, how are the microbes nowadays? And, uh, uh, and when is the next college function? Because generally, who organizes college function? Assistant professor or associate professor of microbiology? Pharmacology, physiology are generally the caretakers of the students uh, uh, for college function. So half the year is gone in waiting for when is the college function organized, how are the new boys and girls are doing, somebody will have suicide, somebody will uh, drink beer and fall before ladies hostel. All these uh, settlements are done by uh, Micropharma fine. It's good. Don't think life is a cardiologist is good, neurologist is good. If you are a cardiologist, you don't even get time to eat lunch also, happily. Tell which cardiologist uh, today has a lunch Monday to Saturday. Not Monday to Saturday, Monday to Sunday. Because Sunday means you will go to districts and practice. So there you don't have even time to go to washroom also. So busy you will be, your bladder will be full and the patient's bladder is also full. So it's uh, end, till the end of the day you will be completely exhausted. So that's the reason any branch is good until you are enjoying the afternoon nap. Okay. So gram negative diplococci which are kidney shaped are typically meningitis. Then what is streptococcus pneumonia? Two characteristic features. One is it is autogen sensitive. Second is bile solubility test to differentiate streptococcus pneumonia from that of the others. Which lab test you won't do in emergency? Don't do thyroid profile in emergency. There is something called sick new thyroid syndrome. Whenever you are sick, automatically you will show abnormal TSH levels. So there is a reason never do it when you are in emergency. Glucose you have to do, hemoglobin you have to do and ECG very much you have to do. Was it ST segment depression or elevation? What was given in the... Lot of students have sent it is elevation but few students sent depression. Why? Those who took the exam. An ECG with an ST depression or elevation was given and what is the next step in the clinical management? Obviously ST elevation if it is there, thrombolysis. You will not do thrombolysis unless there is an ST elevation or a new left bundle branch block detected. Without ST elevation, if you are do thrombolysis means uh, you have not done MBBS at all. Right? So, be very sure. So, I am expecting that it would have been depression 
and that is the reason examiner is talking about a coronary insufficiency and in that scenario apsiximab is the one which is a preferred drug but if it were to be st segment elevation then that becomes an indication for thrombolysis once more duration everything is important okay so it is a little uh, difficult uh, question without other facts uh, typically <coughs> Very good. Nice to see 77 online viewers, Nitya, Kaushik, Rathod, Rehan, Priya and many more. Knee jerk was given. I think an image was given. And in that image they have shown somebody as such he is breaking the petella. Have done? There are medical students who have broken the jaw, injured the cornea while examining the trigeminal and uh, broken the petella and uh, created ulcers while eliciting Babinski. Trrr, 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 you will be doing uh, the Babinski. It's a superficial reflex, honestly speaking. Right? And that will, what you have to see, just to make a little feathery scratch. Not a lion or a... Uh, or kind of a thing until the <laughs> reflex which you wanted will come right we used to have a neurology examiner he used to say md pass hona kiske hath mein hai we have to say aapke hath mein hai jaha pana agar if you don't say that he will tell you okay you do Babinski show me if you do positive Babinski he will show negative Babinski he, he is capable of eliciting whichever Babinski wanted so, uh, that's important. So, student is doing, I don't know how that procedure, wrong procedure was shown there. Was, uh, there was a uh, hammer and uh, kind of, what, what, what was the wrong thing they have shown in the image? I was not sure. Lot of students said wrong way or is the correct answer. Anyway, first thing, what is the, uh, what is the, um, value, root value. HLA is S12, Petella is L3, L4, Biceps is C5, C6, Triceps is C7, C8. That is what you need to basically remember. Binge drinking was there, abdominal pain was there, CT image was shown and asked what is that? Drinking and abdominal CT means if you didn't recognize that examiner is asking you to look at pancreas which is flatly stretched. How will pancreas look like? Trivandrame Padmanava Swami lying down like that. Uh, you will find a beautiful pancreas lying with the tail on the other side, head on the one side. Only thing is you call it as severe if the necrosis is there. Balthazar CT is Severity index scoring of pancreas is you all read now. So, typically you will stratify into a severe one if there is any necrotizing pancreatitis. <coughs> so, edematous pancreas is B. Any extra pancreatic changes are uh, C. And extra pancreatic changes plus fluid collection is D. Multiple fluid collection is E. And any necrosis, how will you identify necrosis first of all? If there is any air pockets, unless necrosis is there, air pockets won't form. So that is how you recognize. Maybe if this kind of CT was given with some lucencies, then it would be called as severe. Otherwise, it is a simple pancreatitis. What is a semantic memory? Fundamentally, what is human memory, doctor? Long term memory. Procedural memories. Suppose you are driving a car. You really don't worry about where is the brake, where is the clutch, no? If your chief is uh, doing OP, medicine chief, every two minutes he will be finishing. You will be thinking, what a callous fellow this guy. He takes the salary. Uh, we all do in the discussions in the coffee stall, no? As house surgeons, all what we do is called capping, character assassination programming. Right? 
टू मिनट्स में देख लिया यार और उसने बोल दिया कि उसको मल्टीपल स्किडोसिस है और भेज दिया या बिकॉज थ्रू आउट लाइफ ही सींग मल्टीपल स्किडोसिस सो वॉट यू रिपीटेडली डू इज कॉल्ड एक्सलेंस बिकॉज एक्सलेंस इज ए हैबिट बट नॉट एपनिंग राइट सो प्रोसीजरल मेमरीज आर ऑल स्विमिंग ड्राइविंग सर्जरी इवन सर्जरी सर्जरी इज ऑल्सो वंस यू हैव डन असिस्टेड टेन सिजेरियंस इलेवन सिजेरियन नाइट ऑल्सो यू विल बी स्लीपिंग एंड देन कटिंग एंड देन बेबी विल कम आउट ऑटोमेटिकली इट सेल्फ गाइनॉक्स में क्या है डॉक्टर फाइनली टू प्रोसीजर्स ओनली नो वन इज रिमूव यूट्रस और रिमूव बेबी only two things will be there diagnostic i mean with due apology to all our gynecology class friends classmates then declarative memory is knowing knowing that is basically declarative memory it can be general knowledge like semantic memory or it can be episodic like personal recollection you may have general knowledge about all the girls in the class but you will definitely have a specific memory about that girl whom you wanted to slip the ring but who slapped you when you proposed wo to typical episodic memory will be there after 25 years when you have a reunion of the class also you remember that slap suddenly will slash on your cheek so that is called episodic memory general knowledge means uh, you know all boys uh, who is having that obsessive compulsive neurosis of biting nails uh, and which boy was actually having a longer humerus with a shorter uh, petella everything uh, uh, is fundamentally what uh, general knowledge semantic memory so examiner is asking simple question events come under episodic memory whereas words language rules everything comes under other forms of memory okay so long term memory is different is called explicit declarative memory implicit non declarative explicit memory is divided into episodic if it is events semantic if it is general knowledge with words ideas and concepts then implicit is either procedural or emotional so that's how the memory is all divided into now doctor an image of firearm injury on the face was given i think something like this with a stellate wound or maybe something else i am not very sure what was given but this if this is given that is contact wound i don't know what was given right what was given closed closed or intermediate what i am not sure what was there but that so this is a contact wound it is identified by the burning of the powder surrounding area now image of an injury was given asked what is it basically abrasions look like this we all remember abrasions because whenever we fall while learning cycle we have some was other abrasion laceration is we have cut to say i don't love you i love you was the old days i don't love you huh? then uh, this is basically called a chop wound option c chop wound is produced uh, whenever any sharp and blunt force trauma is there with a relatively bulky object then uh, that's a point next question was x ray of the wrist joint was given and asked to determine the age of the person too much question first of all to know that it is wrist joint but not knee joint is the achievement post amidius right in that also we are asked which is the ossification center too much no so one year head of the femur humerus tibia will appear two years lower tibia radius three years patella four years upper fibula etc so i'll leave the literature for you there are six ossification centers and when will they appear so critol is a better member capitulum radial head trochlea olecranon too much nonsense if you don't have that much energy leave it right so similarly if you keep on counting all these ossification and don't remember and expect to reproduce in the exam hall means the only capability you have is memory for numbers and you are you are totally a dumb in uh, 
logical reasoning then you will remember all these things few people will have photographic memory click 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 such people we meet in the reading group no they will die there will be a list of tuck 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 with absolute precision each of this then before them we feel like a moron oh my god how this fellow remembers all these things maybe toppers also are like this and i don't belong to this group don't feel like that you ask that fellow simply thick ascending limb of loop of henley comes first or thin ascending limb of loop comes first that guy is dead because that requires some amount of logical thinking through the diagram and those who are good in photographic memory will be very bad in this be very sure but don't go into a game of numbers with them they will remember ananta narayanan page number what line number what and exactly show you that you will get butterflies when you have such friends in the reading room okay so now ethical code biomedical research on humans is prohibited and helsinki declaration was it given in the option is there no so that is the answer so basically the declaration of helsinki is all those ethical principles setting the rules uh shaurabhi saying uh intermediate wound was given i think huh? i don't know how it looks like but uh, intermediate wound is given what is the clue to say it is intermediate wound what is it oh i see aha uh -huh. so uh, yeah now what is geneva convention geneva convention has decided who should have red cross emblem as a medical college student do we ever have a license whenever police stops we say casualty to mate na hum casualty mein duty house surgeon hai finish he will salute you and leave you right because of your plus symbol right but uh, actually it is not permitted then the use in armed conflicts of biological weapons as chemical weapons that is all controlled by the geneva convention that we should fight but not so dirtily fight geneva convention said eh? so image of oh, i think this is a by mistake a question of mds entrance came into md entrance the teeth presentation of upper jaw and lower jaw actually dentist four and half years read only about the teeth is not our life much better we read about so many things we read about endo cervix ecto cervix then the csf ventricles full human body they read four and half years once more the entrance is on the teeth only they do mds on teeth life long they put fingers into other's mouth <laughs> is not post graduation better than that so always doctor you should have positive dreams when you sit in the reading room don't start thinking what is this dark side of this reading room every day the smell of the davidson old davidson <laughs> and waiting when will the lunch hour will come when i will go and eat curry puff Uh, and uh, coffee machine say coffee only if you are thinking like that you'll go into depression think of dentist whose life is much worse so that's the reason aims gave one question from mds exam so palmer universal there are so many patterns in which you can represent the teeth palmer method universal method don't do revision on this kind of topics let me tell you some questions from veterinary science some from uh statistics uh, uh some about uh, pit latrine depth uh, mosquito control uh, all this will come very atypical questions what is the dosage of permethrin for uh, <laughs> cotton plant uh, if a question comes what will you answer doctor some question will come in madhya pradesh or rajasthan entrance so all the mcq books will give a big two pages notes you will start like a farmer you start reading eh? about uh, permethrin dosage is this much for cotton for uh, wheat plant uh, this much should be used uh, you can't uh, do all that no so the reason remembering also is an art what to remember what to mug how to mug if anything is painful doctor if it is dyspareunic don't have any academic intercourse simple about preparation 
If it is really painful, where is the point in reading only is painful, remembering can it be blissful? No doctor, no not at all. Eh? So this kind of questions keep coming. In um, uh, That's the reason your approach to exam is more topic wise it should be. It should not be question question wise in the last 15 years. This is another very nasty question, impossible to crack. Length of humerus is 20 by centimeters, what is the total length? I know what you have done in exam hall. You quickly check it. <laughs> so, what is the, what is my humorous length? What is my length? <laughs> Accordingly, you calculate. Right or not? Tell me. Huh? So, that's called common sense in entrance exam. Huh? So, good. The rule is, humerus length is one-fifth of the height. So, if the length of humerus is 25, total length of the body will be 125 centimeters. Simple. So, 5 table ana hmm? Then, uh, uh, this is a little interesting question. Definitely, every exam they will ask about a question on burns. Chain of two years, face, abdomen, chest and both upper limbs are burnt. What is the rule about uh, the head surface burns calculation in pediatric population? That you have to be clear. So, this table is important. Newborn head is 18%. After one year, every, suppose you are calculating in three year old child. You must subtract 18 minus 3. If it is a 6 year old child, 18 minus 6. If it is a 12 year old child, 18 minus 12, that is 6 percent. That is what you need to do in calculation of the body surface area, head especially. So, anyway, you know very well the remaining uh, parameters, how to calculate and accordingly. Parkland formula. Burn surface area calculation is the favorite area of the examiner. A burnt dead body was shown and asked what is this uh, style in which he is lying down. It is called pugilistic attitude is what need to be basically remembered. Smoking and lung cancer have a relation. How can you show? 100 people who do not have lung cancer, 100 who have it and those who have it have got a smoking habit more commonly than the people who didn't have it. Case control is a better way of identifying such scenarios. What is the label on the TV sputum boxes? Too much question. They are expecting ASHA like MBBS students. We are a Nirasha MBBS students. Right? They are not very sure entrance may seat aega ya nahi aega. Aane ke baad bhi roster system mein how they are going to roast us. We don't know. Others' preferences will decide our fate. If the guy before you who got a better rank than you want to become a venerologist, sexologist, he will take uh, dermatology. And you, your favorite radiology seat will be taken by you. But you have to wait until he takes the skin, you take the x-ray. So, there is a reason your success is not always your preparation, let me tell you. It is how others succeed. If they succeed and they take the, go to other institutes, your rank will move forward. Your success is dependent on others failure. Because if they fail, you are obviously a better ranker. So, your success is never in your hands. So, why to worry? Right. So, uh, sputum sample boxes, who will remember doctor? So, a, B, C is the convention. You have got A, B, C for spot means A, morning means B. Spot sample after that which you take is labeled as C. A, B, C is the convention used, is what need to be remembered. Okay? Then uh, A, B, C and V, E, D. First time I came to know, yesterday night only while preparing for this class, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. VED kya hai? How many of you answered this question correctly? 
I don't know the options what were there, but let us see what is ABCBED. Basically, it is medical shop management doctor. In medical shop, that guy will uh, write now. There will be one book in all our Indian medical shops. He will go and say, do you have raviprazole? He says, no sir, pantoprazole is there. Raviprazole is not No, no sir, kal aaj aega, aaj ke liye to pantoprazole leke beer piyo. Then he will write in that book, raviprazole. Then uh, there will be another guy who will be calling uh, that uh, dealer who delivers the raviprazole. Because raviprazole stock is not there. So similarly, while you are managing the stock position of the drugs in a PHC, there is something called ABC and VED analysis. So ABC means always better and control. And VED means vital, essential and desirable drugs. And ABC analysis will help identifying the items that require greater attention for the control of the pharmacy. If you go to pharmacy, if paracetamol tablet is not there, you will slap that fellow and come out. Paracetamol bhi nahi hai, tere shop mein, kyo ye shop rakna, bulke. So, then, uh, uh, that is the story, okay. So, if you don't know ABC, BED, full form, you are out of the game. There are psychiatrists not posted in India. in primary health center because already as a PFC <laughs> PFC doctor your life has become half mad and the remaining unmad insane part of the leftover brain you will use to treat patients so no psychiatrist is posted in the PFC right there now you know why you get a quota if you work in PHC. <laughs> right. So military hospital you require. Otherwise they have guns. They will kill everybody. District hospital? Yeah, definitely. Right. Then uh, medical college? Anyway, it's a department. Yeah, all these questions don't need reading. Chuma. Exam hall mein. Guess karna. Isko bhi seriously leke agar aap answer karna shuru kar diye to bar jate. So don't do that. Organ Donation Act mein who is not permitted to certify that the patient is brainstem dead. Organ donation means what happens? There is a guy who is operating. Liver transplant means liver surgeon will be there. Kidney transplant means kidney surgeon will be there. So there are four people who are permitted to constitute a team in order to certify the brainstem death doctor. Be very sure. Doctor in charge of the hospital where the patient was treated. Superintendent, medical superintendent. Independent specialist of unspecified speciality. And a neurologist or a neurosurgeon. And uh, the doctor who is direct in charge of the patient, they are the ones, not any RMP available, not any RMP available, but neurosurgeon or a surgeon doing liver transplant or a doctor who is treating the patient, they are all permitted to do the brainstem death declaration. But before you do brainstem de death declaration, what is important to check? Which poisoning? One poisoning just looks like brainstem death. If you do, if you miss to take the history, no. Patient after all his organs are gone, he will wake up. Why did you remove all my organs? I just took a few barbiturates. Barbiturate poisoning. Commonly, who will have exposure to barbiturates? Nurses. She will be angry with her husband. She will tell, I am dying, I am dying. One day he will say, die and show me. Thak, she will take Gardenal tablets and collapses. So she will be brought. The poor husband will be thinking, Oh my God, my three children, who will feed them? He is in his own depression. He is already going through shadi.com, who will be available next? So he won't give any history to you. And this poor lady is in a comatose state. She won't give you history. Right? Then who will know the history? No one knows the history. And you thought brainstem dead. Suddenly, the patient's uh, uh, 
mamma, brother, somebody will come. He will tell Jatasehi Dhruvo Mrityuhu. Dhruvam Janma Mrityaseha. All people born are bent to die. Your daughter's kidneys are useful for helping a young man who required the kidney due to chronic kidney disease. They are all prepared. Suddenly one of your classmates will come and tell, have you checked barbiturate toxicity? Then you will quickly send uh, the serum sample and it turns out to be high barbiturate level. You do hemodialysis, patient will wake up and greet you next day morning. Hi doctor, how are you? My husband is a nice guy. Where is he by the way? Already he booked and registered in shadi.com. <laughs> right? So, when I was in MD, it was a real experience, I am telling you. Really there was a nurse, uh, Sushmita. So, she, is, she used to be regularly warmongering uh, uh, nurse. She came completely comatose state. Those days, cadaveric transplantations are in the beginning stage. So, whoever postgraduate who can uh, volunteer for more number of cadaveric transplants is a great guy. So, achha mil gaya, a patient bol ke ready kar diye, to suddenly one of our friend got a doubt that maybe this can be barbiturate, we have not checked it. Right? So, after doing dialysis, patient woke up and uh, while leaving home, uh, patients don't know what mistake happened, what would have been a bigger catastrophe happened. They only trust you, doctor. They said, doctor, you are such a great man. You told uh, the Gita verses also and uh, prepared us and with all your uh, voluminous, illuminous powers, you have made the patient to wake up from death. You are the savior. You come to our village, we will build a temple for you. Some patients will also do that, right? So, barbiturate poisoning is one thing. Dizepam poisoning. If you give one push of flumethinil, patient will wake up as such, he got up from the sleep. But immediately they will fall down. They will wake up and say, my husband is a nice person, he did not do anything and then they will fall down. Because flumethinil has a short, this thing, the dizepam that they took has got a longer half-life. You have to give repeated doses of flumazenil. Third scenario where patients will treat you like a god is hypokalemic periodic paralysis. They will bring a villager whose all four limbs are down. Then you will send a potassium infusion. Patient wakes up like he got up from the sleep. So there are some rewarding scenarios. Pray God that when you start practice, first you will come across them. Huh? Then... Uh, <clears throat> Nation, the National Iron Plus Program. What is true? Fundamentally, doctor, it is not in your control, but still, uh, if you have energy left over, remember this table. 6 to 60 months, 5 to 10 years, 10 to 19 years, lactating pregnant and women in reproductive age. There are different uh, protocols of the iron folate. Right? How many months? How long you have to give? What is the dosage? That is what the examiner is seriously interested about. Okay? This can once more repeat in the next exam. Uh, yeah, this question I missed it. Yeah. Internal capsule was given in the brain and uh, they asked what is uh, not an efferent. Simple thing. Cerebral cortex fibers, descending fibers will pass through internal capsule. So that is treated as an afferent. Substantia nigra, basal ganglia and thalamus also will send afferents. Spinal cord will only receive the corticospinal tract. Corticospinal tract fibers pass through the internal capsule and go to the spinal cord. So they are leaving fibers of the internal capsule. So they are efferent. Afferent from the spinal cord means what? dorsal column, spinothalamic tract, all this pain, temperature, position, vibration, they become medial lemniscus and all afferents, where will they go to? Thalamus. Thalamus means bedroom in Latin, in Greek. All afferents, all sensations are supposed to reach the bedroom ultimately. From there, they get related to sensory cortex. So, center for afferentiation is thalamus, center for efferentiation is internal capsule and uh, at the brainstem level who is the center for efferentiation? Central pons is the center of efferentiation. 
So whenever central pontine myelinolysis is there, patient cannot move his limbs at all because the corticospinal tract fibers descend down the internal capsule and reach the pons, but they can't leave the pons. So patient knows receiving information, but he can't move. That's called locked up syndrome. Whenever central pontine myelinolysis is there, he is what you need to basically remember. Once more, what is passing through anterior limb, posterior third, uh, what is passing through genu? If you have energy, you remember. Otherwise, don't go too micro into preparation, doctor. It doesn't lead you anywhere. But there are certain characteristic features. Gulenbari syndrome, will you use steroids or not? Such characteristic features will be there. Thrombotic, thrombocytopenic, purpura versus DIC. Where will PTFDD prolong? PDFDT prolongs only in DIC but not in TTP. What is the difference between that of hereditary spherocytosis and other hemolytic anemias? Hereditary spherocytosis is not autoimmune process. Hence, Coombs will be negative. O points put in up. Every topic may 2-3 points will be there. So, that you have to be sharp sharp sure about when you go for exam. So, embryonal veins were given and asked to from where will portal vein develop? Actually, portal vein develops from vitalin vein. The left vitalin vein regress, right vitalin vein forms the portal vein and an embryonic figure possibly would have been shown. How he has shown, I am not sure. Then an aortic arch was given and asked where is the aberrant subclavian artery arising from? So, basically you should remember common carotid form from third aortic arch proximal part. Then the left arch of the fourth pair will give rise to left subclavian and left common carotid. Right fourth arch gives right subclavian. Bilateral sixth arches give pulmonary. First, second and fifth will disappear among the aortic arches. Sometimes left aortic arch or right aortic arch if it is there, then that gives rise to aberrant subclavian and that you have to recognize it in the diagram. Too much question. That is uh, DM and uh, MCH anatomy. Huh? Then an image was given and asked to identify insula, right? Insular cortex. Then the histology slide was given, and in that you are supposed to identify mirocrine, epocrine, holocrine. What is meant by mirocrine? Typically, the secretory product will be in the lumen, the cell is intact, and the vesicle releasing its contents. That is mirocrine. Whereas if it gets pinched off, a portion of the cell gets pinched off, then that is called epocrine. So you should, you are supposed to identify that in uh, a histological slide. That is also a little Vedantic level in uh, histology. Then this is easy question. Circle of villus me, which vessel is there? You know very well the two vertebral arteries form basilar. Basilar will divide into posterior cerebral. Posture cerebral communicates with the middle cerebral by posture communicating artery. Posture communicating artery is the one which is basically part of the circle of villus. Is what you have to remember. Then a hyaline cartilage image was given and asked to identify and where do you see hyaline cartilage? Another very traditional question. One joint type or one cartilage type? Even joint types where are they found also is a very painful topic. But no way, you have to mug. We all mugged and came came out. And no, no, we did not mug and it was not asked in exam. That's how we got the seat. All the things that you mug won't come in exam. That is another good news, ah, bad news. And those who didn't mug can come. That is also bad news. Sometimes those who you did, those you did not mug did not come. And that is the time where your stars are actually doing their homework. Huh? So, pray for all seven grahas, nine grahas. Eh? So, hyaline cartilage. Few subjects like forensic medicine, Shani doctor, SPMA last topics. You have like uh, carefully you do Shani puja. You have to finish them. Otherwise, uh, last moment may you will do it means Shani will be very angry. Let me tell you. Buddha, Guru, Shukra kind of things are general medicine. Gainas though. 30 out of 30 questions you can answer correctly. If android pelvis is android, android only. It can't be anything else. 
If the baby of right occipital posterior has to become left occipital anterior, how to turn the steering? There is a standard steering turning only. Where is the question of new things? So, be merciless in gynops. So, doctor, epiphyseal plate is a hyaline cartilage. So, epiphyseal plate, ribs, respiratory tract, articular cartilage are all hyaline. Pinna, epiglottis, sexual auditory meatus, they are all elastic. Intervertebral disc is a fibrocartilage. Don't forget, doctor, once more they will ask. A histopathology slide was given and asked to identify what it is. I, I don't know what was given. If crypts are there, it is tonsil. You will remember? Then similarly, if there is any pairs, patches, etc. are identified like patches. Very easy to remember. Pairs, patches will have domes like this. Then lymph node anyway you will remember by the sinusoids, medulla, cortex, etc. Then red pulp, white pulp, central artery, periarticular, lymphoid tissue. That is how you identify the spleen. So easy to remember. Then a stomach histology was given and asked to identify parietal cells in that. There are mainly two types of cells, parietal cells and chief cells. I don't know how the question was said, but to recognize in these parietal cells and chief cells is challenging only. Uh, unless it label is there. Uh, then uh, there was a cell towards which an arrow was pointing. What is that cell? At least plasma cell looks like a large lymphocyte. Then uh, macrophage will be multi-lobed cell. Oh, sorry, macrophage will be identified that wheel cut appearance. Neutrophil by multiple lobes. That is how you recognize it on slide. Audiometry was given and the ACBC gap was shown. How do you differentiate sensory neural from conductive deafness? ACBC gap if it is there, conductive, no gap, sensory neural. So typically doctor, the ACBC are supposed to run together normally. But ACBC gap if it is there, conductive. If the sensory neural no gap, but there is a decreased uh, uh, hearing. So, these two audiometric uh, patterns you should recognize. At least now. Once more, they will replicate it in DNB exam and all exams. They are all uh, common mafia. A ka question, dusra le leta. Uska style is a copy kar leta. And uh, in mock test, we copy everybody's style. That's how our mock tests are popular. So, uh, now, you have a lot of image based question discussions of neat pattern and uh, DNB pattern on the youtube.com slash online MBBS channel. You can review them. There is a mucinous discharge, multiple nodules. Classically, anthracoinal versus ethmoidal. What is the difference? Anthracoinal are solitary, ethmoidal are multiple. But Ethmoidal polyp are multiple, but it is a watery nasal discharge, not mucinous. But if you take allergic aspergillosis, right? Uh, um, then uh, typically mucinous, but it is also not multiple. That is a worrying thing. It is a big mass. But uh, I think an examiner gave multiple nodules or a big mass. Multiple nodules were there. No? But still, mucinous is not the feature of ethmoidal polyp. Ethmoidal is multiple. Now, larynx may you are asked to identify partial cricoarytenoid in the anatomy. And partial cricoarytenoid is the one which is the only abductor of the vocal cords. And uh, Nerves in the thorax were given and you are asked to identify phrenic nerve which is associated with the diaphragmatic palsy. Other branches of the vagus nerve were also given in the gross anatomy. Child has a hoarse voice with multiple nodules. Typically is a case of laryngeal papillomatosis. Hoffman elimination is found in atracurium, 